All right, everybody, welcome to uh, session four of our CFOA rules exam. Uh, we are going to be doing questions 61 to 80 tonight to finalize the 80 questions of the exam. Before we get started, um, I've been asked a couple questions about when does the exam have to be submitted? So when I sent out the email, um, actually, it's good that Ian's jumping in right now because he was one of the first ones to ask this question to me. But when I initially sent this email today, in my books, in my business, I've already moved the chapter. To, July's over. I'm already in August. I'm already focused in August. So to me, when I say end of the month, it's <laughs> end of August. But even if I did make a mistake on that, my question is, has there ever been a deadline other than the end of August? And the answer to that question is no. So it's the end of August, not the end of July that you have to answer, hand your exams in. All right. That being said, let's share my screen here. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Everybody can see the screen? Yep. All yep. right. Here we go. Question 61. Team A scrimmage on third down and 15 from the B 50 yard line. The punter A 83 fumbles the snap and dribbles the ball. A 83 recovers the dribble ball and is tackled at the B 48 yard line. The officials award team A first down at the B 48. True or false? So I guess they're asking, is this correct or incorrect? Um, and it started at the B50. So the ball hasn't crossed the line of scrimmage yet. That's false. Yeah. That's false. It's not a plan. Okay. I put five, four, one. All right. I have, I have five, six C. Anybody else? Five, six, one, note A. Yeah, that's, that's the same as five, six C, I think. Okay. Is it? Okay. Yeah. On the, actual, the on the exact actual exam, they do have faults, and they're relating to rule 942E. A dribbled ball over the line of scrimmage does not interrupt continuity of downs. So A must gain yards, which they did not in this case. Five, six, one says the same thing. Yeah. 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 I had nine, four, two, but it was so out of everybody else's. I didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just says the okay. same one. Bill says a ball dribbled by a teammate across the line of scrimmage does not interrupt the continuity of downs. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. All right. So we're good there, Paul. All right. 62 on second down and 12 from the team A20. Team A are flagged for offside and team are flagged for defensive pass interference more than 15 yards. The officials rule this as a dual foul and move to the A30 and provide team A with a first down as a result of the defensive pass interference. Are the officials correct? False. False. 862F. That's what I got. I had a I had true, but a one four. You have to read further on. And that it's rule. A dual, it's a dual okay. foul. Dual foul. They don't get the automatic first. Okay. This pass so interference by two it, an automatic first down in a dual foul situation. So it would be second and two at the thirty. Am I correct? Anybody's going to yeah. answer Jason? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah. that is correct. All right. What's the reference again for that? Sorry. Eight was six six two F. Eight six two F. Thank you. Okay. All right, question 63. Uh, team A is second and goal from at the B four yard line. Team B are called for offside. The play results in an incomplete pass. The officials indicate that team A may repeat second down at the B two yard line. Are they correct? False. False. Eight, three, two. I have four, two, three. So what would you indicate would be the accepted ruling? Oh. I get that. Oh no, I got the wrong rule in there. That's true. Is it not yeah, true? Eight three. I think it is. I'm just eight, wondering why people said it was false. Eight three eight, one. Eight, eight, three. It, is, it is false because they will have first down. Yeah, it's not yes, second down. First down. First down. The the difference here folks, is it would have resulted in a touchdown, which makes it a first down. Yeah, if yeah. the penalty is not restricted, team A would get a first down. So they're granted the first down, and then you restrict the foul, and it's first down. Right. Oh. Good, you're good. <laughs> so say that again. It's no, no. So, so not the, 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 the ruling, down. the ruling on this is: is a restricted foul. Mm -hmm. But if the foul was not restricted. Team A would have gained a first down. So you grant them the first down and you restrict the foul and move them ahead to the two yard line. And then it becomes a first down again. You're moving them up half the distance and giving them the first. Right. Yeah. yeah. The, re the reference is 832, uh, eight, page 48. I, uh, according to their exam, they got 822, two, but I had the same one you had, Al. They had 822. Two? Yeah, they got eight two two as the reference for this question. That, be that doesn't have anything to do with it. No, it's eight three two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, was I blunt? Un un <laughs> unless my printer printed the wrong number. I would say it did. You're in the it's, banking it's, business. It's eight two two. Sorry. <laughs> let, let me be blunt. You're wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Nice to be home. <laughs> yeah we can tell you're in a good mood <laughs> all right so we're off to 64 and this is a video so the question is is this targeting okay let's watch that again it's right in this box. It's going to take place around this 40 yard line. Hmm. Everybody see that? So we're looking at the running back. Watch, watch the ball carrier. Yep. Yeah, watch the ball carrier. Right. Uh, I say yes. Yeah. Yep. I had true. There's launch. Yes. So there's head contact. Yeah, three, seven, two, four. six, four. Three and four. I, seven, two, six, I said three, no. Four, yeah. I said no, because if you look closely, it looks like there's no head con his, his head goes there, but it looks like it sh he moves his head off to the side. Like oh, not no. direct crown to crown, you know what I mean? He's over beside his head. Because if you look his helmet disappears beside his helmet, and then you see the impact and they fall. Head but, or I mean, neck. Head or neck. But he hits the side of the head. The ball carrier lowered his head to make the contact, and yeah. it doesn't matter whether he hits him in the head or the neck, but he did. No question about it. 
like he's got oh, okay yeah i see what you're head. saying like he hit him with the shoulder pad in the head yeah no no he hit he him with his shoulder. Shoulder. Yeah. i can't see it well i uh, yeah, the head player was disqualified, and then the video was sent to the head coach of the team. And as soon as he saw the video, he couldn't understand why he was even asking. Player lowers his head nah, there. off of his helmet directly into the side of the player's helmet. Yeah, I, I switched my phone to uh, landscape, and I zoomed in, and I can see it better now. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely targeting. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, I I heard people mention references. So the reference on the exam is seven two six. Six three four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Question sixty five. Right, multiple answers. So. During the first half of an overtime period, team A has the ball first and 10 from the B-15 yard line. A-27 takes a hand takes a handoff and fumbles at the B-8 yard line. B-52 picks up the ball and runs to the B-24 yard line before fumbling the ball. The ball goes out of bounds at the B-26. The next play would be spotted where? Yeah, I, I have D. D. I have C. I have C. C. Yeah, it's ball, but they're marks. The The key is that it's in overtime and team A lost possession. Okay. okay. So B, B starts their they series. Starting at the 35. Okay, yeah. Right. I've been exactly back to the case that's similar. Of uh, rule one, section three, it's the second casebook application. One, three, six is what I got from Rick. Yeah, the, the, the rule is one, three, six D. And, and Bill was right. The, the, the overtime was the key catch there on that question. So is the answer C? What is the, the answer? answer is, the answer is C. Wait okay. Everybody good there? So okay. so to just add a little twist to that, if A touched the ball before it goes out of bounds, what would the ruling be? Did they gain first down? If they didn't gain first down, then uh, their series is over. Well, is that what happened here, though? What down was this? Just, start? This, this is just discussion. It was, it was first ten. It was first and ten when the series started. Yeah. And they turned the ball over, so possession had changed. Yeah. It'd be second. And then if ball. they if they bat the ball out of bounds as last touch, what's the result of that play? A rouge. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Remember, this is an overtime. You're looking at the wrong place. If, if if this happened in the middle of the field during a regular time of the game, if A batted the ball out of bounds, what would the result of the play be? Andrew A would have the ball. A keeps possession. A A would have first and ten where they batted it out, right? Right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. Because there was a turnover, a change right, of right. possession. Yep. And yeah. so the same thing would be true in overtime. If A had batted that ball out of bounds, they retain it, depending upon where it was out of bounds, whether they batted it forward or whatever. But So that it's significant to know who knocks the ball out or who doesn't knock the ball out in those situations. Good point, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would they get a new first down from the 35? Oh, no, that's... No, it would be from that point. From yeah. the point, yep. What, wherever it went out of bounds, whether that's closer to the goal line or not, just depends on where they batted it from, whatnot. But yes, it would be at that point, not the 35. Okay. It's not a new series. It's a continuation thereof. 
even though it had changed possession briefly during that play. Correct. Yeah, that the significant count. thing there, the significant yep. thing, Shell, Michelle, is that it did change possession. B had attained possession. So therefore, when A bats the ball out of bounds, they don't need to get yards. They don't need to gain yards because possession had changed to B. Right. Okay. And so we've de- we've basically had two turnovers on the same play. Mm. But if so he the end it, result be a f- end result be a first and ten. Okay, but that won't count as B's turn. No, no. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. But if, All right. if they were in the end zone when they batted out of bounds, wouldn't it be a rouge? Oh, if we're talking in the end zone, that's a different game. It wasn't the end yeah. zone. Yeah. No, this is out. Oh, sorry, I'm like, in, yeah. in order, in in I'm order to play. in order to score a rouge, what must take place? I was looking at the wrong. I was looking at the next question. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> For Rouge, you need a kick. You need... He's kicked through the end zone. Yeah, I was looking at sixty-six. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the ball doesn't have to go through the end zone. It just has to go dead in the end zone. Okay. Okay. All right, sixty-six. On the final play of a tied game, Team A attempts a field goal from the B 29 yard line. The field goal is wide and B 16 receives the ball in team B's end zone. B 16 makes a return kick to avoid giving up the single point slash rouge on the return kick. The ball makes contact with the upright and the play is blown dead. What is the ruling? E. I have C. E. I have C. There's no, there's no choice. I have C. C. Yeah, C. One, eight, one, three. Yeah. One, eight, one, yeah. Note four, Note three. three. Note. Surprise, Pickle hasn't mentioned pitchers of beer yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> sounds like E. Oh, so- I was going to. I was going to mention it. <laughs> okay, so let's just let's just flash hey, back there, Jack. Where are you? <laughs> let's just clarify on the inadvertent whistle for a second. If we have a ball being kicked into the end zone and it hits an upright, is that a whistle play? In flight, yes. Yes. Right. Balls in flight into the end zone, hits the upright. Are we yeah, pulling that play? Right. Yes. Yes. Balls, balls in the end zone coming out of the end zone and in flight hits the upright. Are we blowing the whistle on that play? No. 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 Negative. That's right. That's a live ball. Okay. So it's an inadvertent whistle then. Yeah. 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 C is the correct answer. 181 note 4 dash 3 repeat repeat play from uh point last scrimmage no choices no choice no option what was the uh rule 181 okay so we've got some videos coming up here 67, okay? So 67, we need to know, answer, is there holding on this play? I think I've seen this play before. Al, have we seen this play before? It's in the standards. Yeah. Right there. So we're watching this guy right here. Yeah. Let's continue. I don't see holding. Watching receiver three. Right there. Right here. Okay, let me go back up here and pause this. Okay, so it's this right here that we're watching. Okay. Right there. Is there a restriction? Yes. Does it have an effect? 
definitely. Is there a restriction or is it just overpowering them? Yeah, yeah well, the guy's trying to get away. He just can't break. It looks away. like, yeah, but is he is he a guy holding or is he just pushing? Well, right but there, he's, he's trying, to trying to spin out. He's trying to spin out. I him. don't. That's what I see. Is he's trying to spin out of it. The guy's just <laughs> pushing him. He's got one hand in front, one behind. In the beginning, it looks like the white guy has <laughs> arm almost to the other guy's shoulder. Hey, it's okay right there. But now Is that he's okay? okay. Can't say. I think the holding is early, and it is at the point where the runner is coming to, and, and that defender, if he were not held, would be there to tackle him in the backfield. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's late. I think it's early on in the play when he reaches over, grabs the far shoulder, and turns him. Yeah, I can't tell if he turns him or if he turns himself. Anybody else have any thoughts on this? Well, he's turning the wrong way. Like, he, he'd be more pushing him because he's turned away from the, if you're saying that arm. Right, like right him. there. Oh, yeah, watch. but he's going the other way. The guy in white all of a sudden is facing the center of the, the field. The runner. He's, look, he's facing his the runner. Shoulder is, his right he's, shoulder has been grabbed. He's trying to get, he's trying to get to the runner. See, he's trying to get to the runner and the guy's holding him. See, what I see is it looks like he turns his feet because he thinks the guy's going to go outside and realize the guy right. cuts back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. He cuts yeah. Back, but doesn't look like a hold to me. It looks like he just he gets turned around because he thought the guy was going to go outside and he doesn't. Yeah, but I think he got held before that. All right. We ready for the uh, for the answer yeah. on this? Yeah. Yeah. False. False? Yeah. So they're saying um just has no effect. Seven one one C thirty five blocks and drives the defensive back and defender uh turns as he is being pushed and goes down. The this is similar to a player see a block coming and turns so he is hit from behind and then screams clip. This is not holding. So you don't think yeah. that was holding early on? Uh, no, I don't. No, no, I don't think he was. It Right here. I, so I just want to back this up right here. Okay, right here. So right here, we've got no holding because he's blocking. You're allowed to have your hands inside, grabbing and pushing a guy forward. If there's any question, it's right there. Whoops. there. Oh. And he and he goes to the ground because that other receiver is coming back and hits him. Not that like say blindside, but not. But he yeah, come, think, he's coming back, boom. right? I, I think the the red player has his hand on the right shoulder of the defender and is twisting him right there. And that's at the point of the attack of the of the run. Then he lets him go, and you're right. Then he starts to push him in the back. But if they've made their rolling and they say it's not, then it's not. But if the why hands did, are inside, he can he can be holding them. Did, no, did, but but it's did. not. It's it's on his shoulder. It twi look at his look at his right shoulder. How how it is being pulled, right there. Look, he can't I, get his I, arm out. I wouldn't and say it's does. being pulled. It's being pushed. He's pushing yeah. on that right shoulder, which is turning him. But you that's what I see, think. He's being pushed, not pushed. On. You you just, can just see because here. I like to toss in some comments. Yeah. Where does the ball go, Dick? Big deciding. So but was I there? Your, I think was what you're trying to say. Yes. It didn't have an impact. Did it have an effect? No. The ball goes dead right there. But he may have been able to get loose and get the guy beforehand. Prior, prior to the ball, the tackle being made. 
He's still that guy's still moving his feet. Still pushing him. Turning and he's being pushed. Tackles behind him. I thought the white guy was trying to get loose. Red guy is still pushing him. He's got hands on the front and the back, and he's still pushing him to the side. And never let go. Never, never let go. Okay, faults next. Everybody good with that? <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Um, question 68, another video. Uh, what is the foul on this play? And we've got some selections. Here. Right there. That's a blind side all day. Yeah. That's tax book. <clears throat> wow, running back towards his own end zone too. <laughs> I figure the answer has got to be D because otherwise, why would D be an option? <laughs> well, it can't be one. That's a teacher's perspective. You, I, I think you could argue it was a block in the rear as well. It's a little weaker, but. So the guy is running back towards his own end zone. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a blindside block. It definitely meets the criteria for uh, blindside block. Yeah, I, I call the blindside before the blocking from the rear. I, I agree too, but I oh, figure the oh, reason. Oh, not blocking the rear because it's shoulder to shoulder. Blindside, I think, is the only one you can give it. Well, Ian may have made up for something here because I, I agree with Andrew, but just, you're wrong. Just by Andrew. The, the, the answer <laughs> looking at the options, I said, why would that yeah. be an option unless that was the answer? Well, here's the funny thing about this example. I, I wanted to put A. He's he's got the correct answer as A, B, and D, where it's the answer should just be D. Um, but yeah. it says well. Feedback. That's even questionable. Yeah. Well, they've set it up to be a fill in as well, many answers as you want. Well, I really know, want to look that at was, it. He's also that leading was with the, his head on it, too. It yeah, says here. The, it can't be both. It's, it's, that was on the it's, side. I don't know how they get blocking from the rear on that one. I, I don't know either, Andrew. Uh, I mean, I got it wrong. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. I just don't understand why they would call that blocking from the rear. That's as close to being on the shoulder as you can make it. Exactly. Could that did that not be targeting too? Because he hits his head helmet to helmet there too. Borderline. He has to be launched. He wasn't leading with well, the If head. you look at it, his feet leave the ground when he hits them. If you slowly, both his feet are leaving the ground as he's hitting them. I don't think their heads ever touch. He hits his shoulder oh, and he was yeah. down. If, he, if I can slow it more than he can on this and both. You can see contact on the helmet with the helmet. There is see. definitely contact. Yeah. On the initial, initial. He's launching. Shoulder. He's not launching. Yeah. As such, he's extending the leg as part of his run. Yeah. Oh shoot! What is this? Yeah. <laughs> it was an option anyway. I was just saying. <laughs> and it's, so it's the correct good. answer is D. So the correct answer is D, and the reference is. 7317 wide receiver at the top of the screen comes back towards his own dead ball line and delivers a forcible block to an opponent. This meets the standard for blindside block. This also meets the standard for blocking from the rear, which See, I kind of disagree with that one. Yeah. yeah, I fully disagree with it. But anyway, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's a U R. So I'm gonna say yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're quibbling about though, because it's 15 yards or it's 15 yards. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Good discussion, though. 
Yeah, very Does good. one of them carry, um, uh, where you actually count? No, one of them is not where you count. Like the block from behind, you don't count if there's more than two black from behind, so you might get it kicked out. But on the blind no. side block, any chance that you get too many of those, you might get thrown out? Is that why they had... had no, they're the both options? URs, Michelle. They're, they're both URs. No and that's it. That way. Yeah. Yeah. So why would they have given you those options then? Well, it's Michelle, it's blocking from the rear, not not a not a block from behind. There, there's two different things. Like the illegal block. The you should is, say, sure, yeah. yeah. Illegal block, you're right, sorry. Blocking from the rear is a forcible block into the back as opposed to like what you would see hands pushing on the back, which we're calling okay. a block. Legal block, yeah. So should we click A, B, and D, or just D? That, that I just clicked those three because that's what the um, that's what the actual exam shows. For my own exam, I only selected blindside block. So the correct okay. answer is what? The correct answer is. Uh, according to the answer sheet, it's A, B, or D, and D. Sorry. Well, well, D is A and B. I know, Bill. That's all three selected. <laughs> okay. I want A, B, C, and D. Here, pick them all. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't make you'll up get, my mind. You'll get 75% on that answer. <laughs> All right, let's go to question 69. Uh, team A, second and 10 at the A3 yard line. The ball is snapped over the QB's head into the end zone. To prevent B54 from recovering the ball for a touchdown, the QB dribbles the ball forward where offside player A63 falls on it. The ball never leaves the end zone. What are team B's options? Select all that apply. A and C. I agree. A and D. A and D. Eight, four, one, A. Well, if you look at rule one. I got, I got five, six, C. Yeah, that's what I got too. I buy six. I also have one ten six note. Any other thoughts on this one? Why why are we going to the A ten? It's one of the options, yes, but you try to take it closer to the goal line. Well it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's the bad it's option. Not ten. Yeah. As a, as a referee, it's the option you would not give them because yes, the A three is the better option. Right, but boys, we have guys select all that apply. No, but they're asking between C and D. That was the question. Yeah, it will only let you select two options. Yeah, so but it'd be C because it'd be. You go to the 20, then up 10, would it not? No, no not going to the 20. No. Page Select. 33, folks, is where you want to be looking. Select all the reply. Well, if you go to the note at 1106, 6, it says, if team recovering fumble in his own end zone commits a foul while attempting to advance the ball out of the end zone, there should be no score. The penalty shall be applied at the 20 yard line. Isn't that a 10 This isn't line? a foul, though. It's no foul here. Oh, okay. A dribble is not a foul. First down and point of lines are 10 yards, whichever is closer to the opponent's goal. You have the right reference, Jason, in 5 5 6 C. So it's, it's saying whichever is closer to the goal line, so it would be A3. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. But, but, I, well, what's the, what's the I other don't option? Beat this up. Yeah. What's it's the other the option? Top, but it's selecting all that could apply. 
No, but the a, last part of that sentence, uh, I'll, the last part of that sentence says, whichever is closer. So that eliminates right. the ten. Right. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's then A and D. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I mis misread. You had the right idea. You just didn't finish reading. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> you went on vacation too. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> So the reference was I had eight four one A, but you guys said five six C. Yeah, five six. Yeah, five six C. That's correct. The very the very last part penalty touches in its own goal line down at the bottom there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we good. Yeah. Okay. Let's go over to 70. After several penalties, Team A attempt a convert from the 25-yard line. B24 commits a defensive pass interference at the B20 yard line, and the ball and the pass goes incomplete. Team A may retry the convert from the one yard line. After several penalties. False. I have false two, three, six, two, four, five. I've got six, four, ten. I have six, four, ten. False. I'm kind of confused by this question because I didn't understand a scenario where this could be possibly true. Several penalties. Well, I understand starting at the 25, but at what point would you, with a single penalty, move up 24 yards? Because they're pretending that the other penalties have suddenly not occurred. I see. Okay. I so don't this know. Is, this weird. is going to be a spot foul anyway. Yeah. I think it's a 15 yarder on the convert, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the significant point here, folks. Yeah, that it, it is because it's six four ten. They can retry the convert fifteen yards in advance of the point last scrimmage. Yeah. So the spot foul doesn't apply. No, nope. not in a convert. Convert's different. Learn something every day. <laughs> so the answer is false then. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. The reason they have the one yard line in there is because that's one of the options, but it says or 15 yards in advance of the point of last scrimmage, whichever is closer. Well, in this situation, you're back far enough that 15 yards doesn't get you to the one. Yeah. No. Okay. 71. To 71. Okay. Observe the wide receiver at the bottom of the clip. What should the outcome of what should be the outcome of this play? Oh, geez. That looks like my playing day is getting plowed by a receiver. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. God. That's humiliating. I still think it was uncatchable. What's the answer, well, Michelle? <laughs> as, as Norm said, stop playing, Coleman. I, it, it, but I think in this I case, it, it is uncashable, but it, you can have a legal contact on the receiver still. It do, doesn't need to be doesn't need to be catchable, does it? To be legal contact on the receiver? Always in the air. Yeah. The, ball's the ball's in the ball air. wasn't in the air. No. The ball's still in the quarterback's. He's, yeah, he's still, when he's making contact, it's just being released. There, he's in a yeah. strong motion when they connect. So that's considered ball in the air. So it was that could C, be a pump, a fake pump, though. 
but it isn't. <laughs> it's not the balls. The balls. Balls being released. So that's considered in the air when his his hands in the forward motion. He's he's in a throwing motion. Oh, correct. Yeah. I would say they're all saying this is DPI. No, I think I'm it's saying it's no call on catchable ball. Yeah, that's, that's D. What I, mean. D. I think D. What makes 14. it uncatchable? He could have well, ran it. into the, well, it's to about... the defender. Like if he didn't hit the defender, it probably was catch. Okay, I don't think so. Five, it's five yards past him. I, I think he may lose half yeah. a step. He's not. He didn't lose five yards on that bump. I think he no. did. I don't know. It, can, it slowed it down considerably, hitting him. <laughs> I absolutely think it did. Look, he, he almost comes to a dead stop. Look, he's yeah. hit. Yeah, and he loses his balance. He never oh, quite regains his balance afterwards. Yeah. yeah like he, he he almost comes to a dead stop after that hit. So the and key for the uncatchable is that the ball really needs to be in no man's land. Um, for here, you have to assume that every player can make that super heroic play. If we're not calling DPI on that, I have big problems. Well, wait, that guy got ran over. He was... Hmm? Uh, he got ran over. Remember yeah, now, the defensive yeah. back can protect himself but cannot go beyond... Into his plan. Yeah, into his field. Block. Was there any yeah, foul? Yeah, he's on? going nine. He ran right into him. Was there any foul on the play? Yes. I can't see the answers anymore. Well, wasn't yeah, that just, just so? Just here, I'll, the... I'll give you the answers. The answers are: I have no C, penalty, no penalty, simple collision, a legal contact on the receiver, defensive pass interference, or no call on catchable ball. Those are the four answers. Defensive <sighs> pass interference. Yeah, okay. yeah. Or D, if you think it's uncatchable, uncatchable. <clears throat> I put B because contact. I thought it was illegal contact, but we're we're considering the ball gone. It would be defensive pass interference. Ray, can you stop it when the contact occurs? So let's break it down. Are, are we calling this ball contact illegal contact? I don't well, think what def defines defensive illegal pass. contact from I, a defender? I, I, you can have one, twelve, and 11 o'clock, 11, 12, 1 o'clock, and he's going almost to 9 o'clock here. Excuse right, me, so what Jason is saying is that you can have between 11 and 1, you can take one step to defend your position, and that's it. Now, if we look at this mm -hmm. contact, is that what he's doing? Or is he stepping mm -hmm. out of bounds to restrict, redirect, or impede the receiver? Uh, he's taken three or yeah. four steps over. Yeah. Because he's Bingo. more at, at 10 or 9 or 10 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. And look where the ball is at this point in time. It's it's in the air. Yeah. Yeah. So that means that we either have DPI or mm -hmm. ball uncatchable. So now the argument is just did this guy slow him down enough to call that ball catchable or not? I think so. I'd say there could have been a chance, yeah. Can you have to imagine that a player could have go made back. the catch? Ray, go right back, right to the start, and see where the receiver pauses right there. He didn't go full bore out of the off the line of scrimmage. See, I don't think he's yeah, making that. But that's what drew the defender up. But then he takes yeah, off. Yeah, right there. Yeah. I honestly don't think he slowed him down enough to make that a catchable ball. Well, so consider, folks, what does the rule book say about a catchable ball? What's the statement in the defensive pass interference about catch? Well, not defensive, just pass interference when it comes to catching the ball. Do we remember?
Oh, who, but do it, the, uh, who do we give the benefit of the doubt to? The receiver. Receiver. The receiver. Right. right. If there's any chance at all that there was, let's just say that defender wasn't even standing on the field. Would that receiver have been able to get his hands on that ball? Yep. Yes. I don't, See, that's that's what you have to consider. The other thing if, too, like as be, as being say as a deep official. I don't necessarily see when the ball leaves the quarterback's hand. I see that contact up there early. I would probably call this illegal contact on the field because I see the contact and then I see the ball being way overthrown, which I would think it was uncatchable. I would rule this on the field as illegal contact, being a deep official. The only, the only thing is, Jason, you being deep on that sideline, you you're looking right through that contact. You should be able to see the ball at the time that contact's being made. Right? Like if you're 20 yards downfield with your perspective, like the that contact taking in place in front of the ball. So it's not hard to find the ball at the point of the contact, is what I'm saying. Right. Okay. Right. So in the you know, in, in the rule book. It talks about contact between two opponents is legal. And then it talks about which occurs at the spot of possible completion of a pass where each player is intent on playing the ball. Where such contact is unavoidable, not important. So the, the idea is, is that the contact occurs preventing them both from getting to that spot, possibly. And if you look at the white, ball, if the ball is in the air, no contact is permissible except as described in C below. And that's on page 38. Anyhow, for discussion purposes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to move on from this. The correct answer is defensive pass interference. Yeah. And, um, I was going to point out earlier that our CFL official uh, really broke this play down well, but Bubar and Gator stole his limelight. They they <laughs> they took it to the next level. So can I? Do you mind if I ask one question my before you move on from sir, this? LeBlanc. Eric, go ahead. You have a question. Go ahead, Eric. So, so I, I I don't want to drag it anymore, but I want somebody to walk me through as a sideline official if I see that. I'm throwing a flag. Well, I may not necessarily know what I'm calling. So here, here. how do you white hats want me on a, as a sideline official to come and explain to you what I'm seeing and what questions that you've asked on it, but what questions are you going to ask me to help clarify that? So, so he's I, just going to say to you, tell me what you saw. Well, me. before we even get there, Eric, before, are you the sideline official or are you a deep official? Well, I mean, I guess it depends on how many are in the crew. So if we let's say we're that... a seven man system, are you working sideline or deep oh, sideline when oh, you're asking oh, this question? Oh, Ray, Ray, yep. most people are working five. Five most is the most people are working five. Okay. All right. Yeah. So then, all right. That is a good, it's a valid question. Yeah. But Eric, Eric the question you would say is you, you would tell what you saw. How can I help the white hat and the umpire? Yeah. How can I Typically, best explain they're gonna, that? They're going to ask you, was the ball in the air? And then you're going to say, well, I'm not sure. I'm guessing from what you're commenting here. The, the key point here, and, and um, Jason kind of alluded to it in his question, is, and this is easier said than done, don't get me wrong, folks, but you need to always keep a lazy eye in a passing situation on the quarterback. And the reason you need to keep a lazy eye on him is because you have to know where he's throwing the ball. So if you know where he's throwing the ball, you typically know close to when the ball is coming out, right? And so that's easier said than done. I get that. <laughs> but in a lot of those situations, if it's even close to the ball coming out, it's considered in the air. Yeah. It and, has to be obvious for it not to be considered ball in the air. Okay. Then the next step is you're going to tell the referee slash umpire 
that the defensive player's contact had knocked, was outside, was at the nine o'clock area, is that outside mm -hmm. his yeah. area, stance in which he could protect and caused the receiver to be knocked off stride. Here's okay. part of the problem, okay? And, and you know, we were talking seven-man system a second, seven-member system a second. But in a five-person crew, would you guys agree that the official that would be on this sideline would be the held official? Am I yes, safe they are. assuming that yes. they be the held yeah. official? Yes, you would. Okay. Yeah. So being a held official, that is this is a tougher call to make in a five-person crew than a seven-person crew where the deep official would be making that call versus being a, an official on the line of scrimmage. Because now you're watching your and, – and it's tough. you got to look back to see if the ball's been released or not. So this is a tougher call in a five-member crew than a seven-member crew. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and, but keep in mind, if the same thing you're alluding to, Ray, the back umpire field judge or whatever to call him, he should be looking on this as well. So he would be able to support Eric and saying, yes, the ball's in the air. Right. And so yes, he people, broke. Yes, he knocked him off stride. Yeah. So, so I mean, there's, there's is, two sides to that coin. Yeah. Is Eric wants to know if I, he and he told us right up front, he said, if I see that on the field, I'm calling a foul on it. What does the referee and umpire want to know when I come in? So his, his line going in is that I have a foul. The defender knocked the receiver off stride on a forward pass. Now the back umpire can now come in and offer support. And the back umpire can now come in and say, that wasn't catchable. Okay, it's a good call. The ball was in the air. But Eric wants to know, what's he going to tell you, Ray, as you referee? Let me, let me ask you this, though, Al. As a referee... Do I want Eric coming to me first before talking to that back umpire? Maybe, like, maybe he should be going to the deep official first, have that conversation, then come talk to me as the white hat. Yeah, half a dozen, one, six, or the other. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, poten I, potentially no, because if it's illegal contact, whether it's catchable or not, is not a factor, right, folks? Right. Right. Yeah, if it's contact, yeah. Right. So if, if Eric has an inclination, it might be just illegal contact. He doesn't care if the ball is catchable or not. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is great discussion, guys. Great discussion. That clear as mud, Eric? I think uh, Al was on the right track and you never finished your thoughts. But yeah, when you're bringing that in, you can either say I have DPI or if you're not confident, you can say the Defender knocked the guy off stride who was trying to catch the ball. We're going to ask, where was the ball when this happened? And where was the point of the foul? Because those are two things we need to know to apply our penalty. Yeah. And then if they have any more questions, we'll just ask them. In, That's usually it. Okay. In, and the reason that came up, so in Winnipeg, Robert St. Pierre was talking about flag national several years ago in Vancouver. And they had a guy, a, a tackle official who had never done flag before. They gave him a crash course. And Robert said he threw a flag and he came in. He said, I don't know what it was, but it looked bad. And then he kind of walked him through the steps to figure out what the penalty was. But anyway. <laughs> and Eric, that's not out of the reality because there's going to be stuff uh, that you're going to see on the field that you're not sure exactly what it was. You just know it wasn't right. And that's why you come into the referee and say, this is what I saw. This is when the ball was touched, or this is where the ball was touched, or whatever. And then from that information, it can be figured out. So that's not a bad protocol. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll have to remember that. So we are moving on to 72. Identify the foul committed by team A. And we have ineligible receiver downfield, illegal interference, blocking downfield, illegal use of hands, and holding are the options. Let's watch that again. 
I think we're watching player number five here. Five. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. Holding. Lose a step. He's impeded. It's at the point of the ball. It's a pretty clear hold. Right there. Yeah. Yep. Did you do anything wrong before that? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Watch this. Watch right here. Okay, watch right here. He knocked Michelle over. Okay. <laughs> you gotta let that go, Michelle. That's yesterday. <laughs> yeah, one should not be 110 pounds playing football. At illegal blocking down. Can't be on a run play. Not it's pass. It's a it's a oh, pass. It's a pass. It's a pass. 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 To the left, to the yeah. Is it a screen pass though? No. No, no. Where, where's the line scrimmage? That. Line scrimmage is 30, 31. 31 is the line of scrimmage. Yeah. He's past that. And he's past that. So yeah, it's a so forward yeah, so pass. This is multiple. All right. Oh, I got DND. Ray Dunn, what is your favorite saying that Thomas Cesare says to you? You're on. Word for word now. The, my favorite saying that Tom Cesare says Thomas Cesare to told you. Regarding receivers. Oh, my God. A receiver is either is running a route. Running a right, right, okay, yeah. here we go. Yeah. <laughs> a, a, a receiver is either running a route or blocking downfield. Okay, so back this up a bit. Okay, so watch our friend number five. Is he running a route? Yeah. Is yeah. the defense just getting in the way? I'd say. No, that second time he was literally trying to clear a path. Okay. Well, oh, don't don't think holding. about the hold up. Talk about the first hit. He's running around. He's looking for the ball. Yeah. No, that even if the ball he's, was coming to him, that would he's be still looking off, downfield. That would be offensive pass interference. Yeah. He's looking downfield, folks. Yeah. He turns his head after he connects with Buddy. To yeah, find out where his runner right. is. It does look, looks like he makes contact turns, look to see if he's getting the ball. That's a route. Or to find out where the runner is so he could clear the next spot. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the answer on the sheet. The it's answer the on the sheet. Da, 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 you... What? Don't do that yet. Okay. You don't want to know? <laughs> okay. No. No. So talk about the first contact. Okay, so go back to where number five first hits the player. Teaching Boom. point, go back just a touch. Okay, stop. So, is he looking for the pass? No. Not yet. No. He's making, Could he be running spot. a route? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, is the ball in the air yet? No. No, no. no. Okay, go another, just one step or two more. My question would be, are you allowed to run through a defender to catch a pass? But he's not trying to catch it at that point. It's not even in the air yet. No, but he's ball is in the air now. The ball's in the air now and Buddy's down on the ground. Okay, but the ball wasn't when the initial yeah. contact happened. Yeah. Okay, so it's so he's still running. As far as I'm concerned, he's running a route because he turns to look for the ball. But the question is, like Eric said, is he allowed to run through a defender? And what's your answer? But I would say, but consider I consider what he that. was. When you say he's running a route, Andrew, consider what he's doing before he makes that contact. What's he doing? Well, Does he running. extend his arm to push the guy off? That, but he's also he's hunting out that defender. He's yeah. going right at him. Yes. Make right? based on the defender's not moving and he's running a straight route. Okay. So 
stop. So he's going he goes right at him. Yeah, if the guy in white is standing still, okay, he can defend himself, he can protect himself with a step and so on, like Eric mentioned earlier. But he wasn't. Okay, but he wasn't. So now what the red guy does is even though the guy in the yellow pants has taken a step or two, he runs right through him. Okay. And then pushes him down. And then goes further hunting. Yeah, and holds that guy. <laughs> and holds that guy. So it's both. So it's B and D. I love this play because we always talk about why we force our line of scrimmage officials to hold their hand up on a screen pass, why that's relevant. Yeah. And it's for this exact type of play. play. Yeah. Holding your, your hand up on a screen pass says that, yes, you can legally block down fields before that ball comes. We determined this was not a screen pass. This is a forward pass. So can any member of Team A block down field before that pass is cut? No. no. Pretty good pick, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so based on that, the answer to this question is B, illegal interference blocking downfield, uh, 649A. And so, TB slot back blocks across the line of scrimmage before the forward pass is caught. What's interesting is Could you on not the, have two plays in that? Could you no. not have a holding as well? No. Well, well it, <laughs> the holding, that's a good question. The holding uh, <laughs> is 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 definitely up for discussion here, but it's not reflected on the answer answers for the exam. The, yeah, the answer says there's no holding there, which yeah. is very questionable. <laughs> yeah. But in this case, you would have the double foul in which case it doesn't really matter as long as you catch the first one right yeah yeah but for the purpose of an exam when they say anyway, sure yeah. sure yeah. Yeah. understood <laughs> all right uh question 73 identify the penalty occurring on this play and we have the choice of crack back blocking below the waist blindside and delayed knee block oh christ this was in the exam <laughs> last year sorry it's good to be home now. I know. I didn't realize I said it that loud. <laughs> I don't think we can beep the recordings. We don't have that technology. Oh, well. I didn't say anything real bad. Okay. So this is what we're looking at right here. Not a crack back because he's not moving towards the center. No, it's, it's just a block below the waist. So. Yeah. yeah, it's not a blind tie because he's moving the correct direction. Yeah, he's outside the tackle box, so it can't be anything line of place. It's got to be below the waist. I don't think delayed knee block is a thing anymore. Uh, yes, it oh, yeah. is. It still is. Yeah. yeah, but it requires two players, and there's no. There's, there's, yeah. there's some debate as to why it's still in the rule book, but it is yeah, still because. Fun. Any block below the knee is illegal, so exactly a knee block yeah. isn't a thing anymore. Well, it's it has to be. <laughs> like it's illegal even without the other person is my anyway. Yeah, I think it's clearly Valid. B. Yeah, Valid. B. Yeah, seven three nineteen. All right, that one was pretty straightforward. 74 is over here. Okay. Oh, wait. I didn't read the... Uh, uh, observe the action against the identified player. True or false, there is no penalty on this play because the action against the player occurs in the neutral zone. So we're all watching this right here.
It's hard to. Hard to tell if he holds them for a bit there. Yeah, but just consider what the question asks. If it's just blocking. <laughs> but what's the final point in that question, though? Is that the new rule 649B? Here, I'll just read it again. It says, observe the action against the identified player. There is no penalty on this play because the action against the player occurs in the neutral zone. True or false? So they must be going with the contact. Yeah. So there's, there's a foul right there. The question is, is it okay because of where it happened? They were just talking about blocking, then, yes. And I don't even know if it's in the neutral zone. It's in the yeah, backfield. It's, it's in the neutral zone. Yeah. Right now, was there a tight end in this play? Yeah, it looks like it's just past the line of scrimmage in the backfield. But, yeah. yeah. What are your thoughts on this one? To me, it looks like a legal block. Well, in the neutral zone, the defensive player is allowed to make contact like that. Mm -hmm. The question is, was he holding yeah. him? Yeah, consider the action of the block, if you want to call it that. What happens to the offensive player? Gets delayed on his route. He's restricted. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how is he restricted? He the defender turns him, mm -hmm. grabs him and turns. He's he turns, being held. He, he turns yeah. him right around, right? Yeah. So well, I'm just wondering if the if the receiver actually like embellished it a bit. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> or is was he actually being held? Some that's. <laughs> well, it did happen in the neutral zone. But the fact yeah. is, that he held him, not just made contact. Right. That's so the a significant zone, point. The neutral zone has really no no effect on it. The, the The trick to this question is the neutral zone has a restriction on illegal contact. Yeah, but not holding. It does not have a restriction on holding. Yeah. <clears throat> if you deem that to be holding. Is there a hole there? That's yeah. the point. Yeah. He's just making contact, spinning on, but making contact. Turn him around. Yeah, but if you hit his left shoulder, right there, right there. Okay, but well, he's I mean. still okay. So right, right about be, yeah. now, the white guy is in the bad position, and yet the red guy is restricted. So I think we have a bad point of view of it. What I think. <laughs> yeah, I think you need a better angle. <laughs> it doesn't look right. Yeah, let's go with that. And what's the answer? <laughs> Bill wants to go to bed. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> it's quarter after nine. Come on here. You're doing well, yeah. Bill. You're doing well. The answer on this question is false. Okay, so the result. Illegal so contact on a receiver, 6410B. Okay. Illegal contact? Yeah. Illegal contact. And He's this. Consider, folks, part of the illegal contact is holding. If that was a straight up block, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, if that's a straight up block, there's no issue there. But that wasn't a straight up block, right? He kind of held him and restricted him. That, and but that's still deemed as illegal contact. Yeah. yeah. And this clip was sponsored by Bank of Montreal. Just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, seventy five. Back to reading. Team A is second down and 10 from their own one-yard line. During the play, A83 was in the neutral zone at the snap. The covering line of scrimmage official flags Team A for offside. The pass was completed for a first down. 
The officials indicate to Team B they may apply the penalty against Team A, making it second down and 10 from the Team A one yard line. Are the officials correct? True. True. Yeah. 83A. False. It's third. False. Down. False. Yes. Yeah, third Penalty down. Penalty on your own one yard line is a loss of down. Oh, loss of down, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is second. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Everybody yeah. got that? False. The penalties, the penalty on first or second down is loss of down. Should be third down and ten. Okay. Question seventy six. Team A is first and 10 from the A five yard line. During the play, lineman A63 retreats into the end zone and is flagged for holding B70 while the running back with the ball is also in the end zone. The play goes dead at the A five yard line. The official provide the officials provided team B with the option of safety or second down from the 10 and five, A5. Are the officials correct, true or false? So the hold takes place in the end zone while the ball carrier's in the end zone. So it is that is true because with the two options. That's what I had. Eight three four one, I think, is what I got. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 Their 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 reference is eight four one a one. Yeah. Mm. That's what I got. That's okay. what I had, but I had false for an answer. Yeah, true. No, true. Mm. Okay. Question 77. Team A punt team A team A punt into the team B end zone. Team A 83 commits no yards with team B 14 catching the ball in the air. B 14 is tackled in the end zone. The officials indicate to team B captain they may scrimmage from the A 35 with Team A scoring a single point, or they may apply the 15 yard no yard penalty from the A10, making it first down at the 20 A25, no point. The options provided to the captain are correct. True or false? True. 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 8422. Two. Perfect. Whoever got that one. Oh, 40 words too many in that question. Yes. <laughs> All right. Just a couple more. Team A is scrimmaging from the A25 yard line. With the QB running the ball at the A30 yard line, Team B is flagged for a face mask penalty. The QB is tackled at the A28 yard line. The officials indicate to Team A they may scrimmage at the A43 yard line, first down after applying the UR face mask penalty. Are the officials correct? True. 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 Mm -hmm. Eight, five. Eight, two. What did you give for a reference there, Jason? Eight five one. Okay. I had eight five two. Eight five two is the eight five two is what is on the uh yeah. Yeah.
Two more. 79. Team A is flagged for holding penalty during a convert and ask for the penalty to be applied on the convert on the kickoff and the convert repeated. During the repeated convert, team A is flagged for offside. The attempt is no good. The officials may indicate they may only accept one of the penalties on the subsequent kickoff. Are the officials correct? False. Why? False. Why false? What's that? 864. You don't lose a penalty just because you decided to delay taking it. If two or more fouls occur on any convert or repeated convert, the non-offending team shall choose to apply the penalties, the penalty at point of line scrimmage or the kickoff for each foul independently. Okay. But why is Team A allowed to have a choice? They don't. To begin it's, with. They don't. That's written very poorly. Yeah, yeah. Team B has that's, the choice. That's, yeah. that's where I was trying to go with this. That, that Team A yeah. shouldn't have team... had the choice there. Yeah, yeah it's poorly typo... written. Team B has the choice yeah. here. I had typo and WTF. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that an answer you can check off? <laughs> yeah. Last question of the 2023 CFOA exam. On third down punt, after the punt is touched by B, team A64 blocks B73 below the waist in the block below the waist zone. The officials rule this as a legal block as it occurred in the BBWZ. Are they correct? False. False. Oh. Nine, False. Two, one. Nine. Nine. Two, one. Nine, two, two, one. Nine, two, one. That's right. Huh. Any discussions on that one? No. All right. Well, congratulations, everybody. We have completed our annual review of the CFOA. Let's uh, confirm finish now. And we got 98.8%. And I think wow. that's because of question 40. Yeah. I think yeah. question 40, we went with what should be the answer, not their answer. And uh, I'm waiting to hear back from Kelsey on that one. So are we ever going to be able to get the questions so we can have the questions with the answers to go back? So once you submit your exam, Michelle, then you'll see all the answers of the actual exam. Right. But we won't see the questions. No, you just see what the ones you get incorrect. No, no, you see everything. So um, when you, when you uh, submit your exam, You'll see all 80 questions with the questions and it will show the answer. So you have to log back in again. Nope. You'll get an email. That's yeah, how I set it you. up this year. So for oh, example, okay. you know, on this last question, it's tough to see, but you'll see um, it will tell you the correct answer. It gives you the reference. So this year, when you complete your exam, you'll see all 80 questions with the 80 answers and the references for those questions. Okay. Yeah. Cause that, that's a good learning what? tool to go back over. Yeah. Mine yeah. only gave me the ones I had incorrect, right? It did. The, yeah. email, I, the email I got only gives me the incorrect ones. Okay. Yeah. It, gave, it gave me. Um, you're special, but you're special. Yeah. You are special you're, because you're the head for the, <laughs> our association. You're the you're the uh, administrator. Okay, so yeah. all you have to do, um, how did I get out of here? Um, let's get in. Here. So I just got the ones that were incorrect. So what I'll do is I will, as I start receiving exams in, and I get your answer sheet, I will forward your answer sheet back to you. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's just make. Of this. While you're doing that, Andrew Lockery, the uh, huddle videos are up from the U18. Perfect. Thank you. I'm going to stop recording at this point. <laughs>